Hello, my fellow gnomes. Now today I want to talk about a common problem in programming. So right here, I've got this door. It's a sliding door. If I go and play, I can show you how it works. It's pretty basic. We've got a proximity prompt set up. We can go and interact with it. The door slides open and we can move through it and we can close it again. Marvelous. And you can see I've got a script inside it, got a proximity prompt. It's pretty straightforward. And if I wanted to go and add some more doors into my game, well, I'd just go and duplicate it, wouldn't I? So I'd add a few copies, move them about, maybe have one over here. And so if I went played, then, yep, I've got more working doors. I can go and interact with them. Super. But what if I wanted to go and modify one of these? Well, I would return to my script, edit it. Let's say I wanted to change the color of the of the panel. So I'd say panel.color equals um, red or green, depending on uh, whether the door is open or not. So something like this. And now when I go and I interact with my door, it's going to have the green and the red state changing on the panel. But it's not actually going to work for these other doors. If I want to update these doors, then I've got to go and actually go to the script of that model. And suddenly I've got three different scripts already, which are all pretty much the same thing. And I've got to copy and paste all of the changes I want to make. Obviously, this is not a sane way of doing things. In programming, we talk about not repeating yourselves. And here is an endless pit of repeating misery. So how can we improve this? Well, instead of having an individual script in each model, what we're going to do is we're just going to have a single script. So we're going to delete these and we're going to move this one, say, into server script service. And what we're going to do is use collection service, which is the name of this video. So I would recommend using a plugin for this to help you, although you don't have to. But we're going to use a plugin in order to give tags to all of the models. Now, I use the tag editor plugin by sweetheart I choke and you can download this and then we get these two windows we get a tag window and a world view so I can select a part like my sliding door and I can add a new tag we'll just call it sliding door to keep things simple and we'll take that box and when we do so you see it lights up in the world if we toggle on and off world view you know we don't have to always see these these big shapes but it allows us to see what is tagged and what isn't so we want all of these sliding doors to be tagged. And there we go. If we wanted, we could change uh, change the color and, and do all sorts. But uh, we're fine with it how it is. We could turn off worldview. So now that those objects are tagged, how can we access them? Well, if we go into our script, and at the top, we're going to need a variable now for collection service. So all collection service is, is a way of interacting with objects that we have tagged and now we can check what is tagged so if we go collection service get tagged and this is going to return an array of objects in the game with a given tag so we'll search for sliding door which is the name if we double check what was the tag sliding door got to be spelled exactly the same so that's going to provide us with an array or a table much like they're all in a folder so then we can just loop through. So for I, door in pairs, so we can traverse the whole thing. Do, and now we've got a for loop. And now we can react to each door. So instead of having these global variables, let's cut them, move them into here, and we'll move this prompt.triggered down into here as well. And now instead of referencing script.parent, um, the model is going to equal uh, this. So we'll change this to model and we can remove this. And then we're also going to want to send the door to the move door function. So we'll say model and is open and we'll make sure we're receiving it there. And for panel and prompt, we probably don't really need to be using variables for that. We can just say model.panel and uh, model.panel dot proximity prompt 
So now if we go and play, we should hopefully have it working for all of our doors. Let's go and test it. Interact with this one, interact with this one, and we can interact with our doors over here. And so if we want to change any of the functionality, let's say we wanted to add in a sound or maybe want to change the tween. So let's make the tween really quick. So you only zip at one seconds. And now when we go, all of our doors will be opening and closing really quick. So there we go. That is collection service. Very easy to use, very easy to get started with. And it's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of unnecessary scripts. Hopefully that helps you out. And if you've got any more topics you'd like to know about or see in a future video, then let me know. But until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.